Hello! Here we are. Welcome to another episode of Wine, Songs, and Good Vibes. See that little thing in the corner that says live? Yeah. That's how I know I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, good. So this is good Facebook Live. So I'm here with my first guest on the show, uh, my friend, songwriter Kathy Wheland. Hi. <laughs> and where are you from, Kathy? Well, I live in Ann Arbor, and I've been there for over 40 years. So. Okay. Okay, great. And uh, Kathy's a songwriter, and uh, she plays a lot around Michigan, and you also do some traveling, right? Yeah, um, I, I do some uh, cruises with people. That, that, uh, the instrument I play is called the auto harp, um, which is probably a more obscure instrument. This is the auto harp right here. Uh, it's also called the corded zither. Um, it has 36 or 37 strings, actually. Um, and then it has a set of chord bars so that when you push down a button, you get a chord. So I find it to be a, a wonderful instrument that's soothing. And um, I also play the banjo and uh, the guitar. And so different instruments inspire different songs. So this, um, this instrument is my main one. And um, I've written a lot of songs on this one. Um, there's a festival in Pennsylvania that I go to every year called the Mountain Laurel, Mountain Laurel Auto Harp Gathering. It takes place in Newport, Pennsylvania. And next year will be the 30th anniversary. And I've been to all but three of them. I was on the original board. When you do it, workshops, right? Um, yep. Yeah, I actually, I, there's not a lot of auto harp players, at least that I run into, that also write songs. A good friend of mine, Eileen Kozloff, uh, is a, another player that, that writes a lot of songs. Um, so I frequently will teach uh, songwriting with the auto harp. Um, and of course, it's, it's a beautiful instrument for songwriting because you, you don't have to learn how to play a guitar and learn all those chords. You just, <laughs> you just push a button down. So. But you, you're being modest. You actually do know how to play a guitar and a banjo. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and, and like any other instrument, this one uh, is very welcoming, and you can start off very simply, but you know, when you fall in love with it, you find that you, you get more, um, it's more interesting, you learn more interesting ways to play it. So that, uh, that's my auto harp spiel, but uh -huh. I do travel with uh, a group um, that I know through the festival, and we take a cruise about every year and a half, and we usually do what they call a repositioning cruise which means we spend about six days going across the ocean because they're moving the ship from the Caribbean to maybe Europe for the summer. And then in the fall, they might be moving it from Europe back to the Caribbean um, for the winter season. So generally those cruises are less expensive. Um, and because we've been booking them for several years, they give us a room where uh, when we're at sea, we can have workshops and we have uh, jams. Auto, and we har have auto harp jams? Um, yeah, but people, wow. a lot of auto harp players play other instruments as yeah, well. Yeah, that's so, cool. Yeah, so they're they're regular kinds of jams. You know, repositioning crews sounds so dry, or it could be like <laughs> yoga or something. You know, but it's like no, it's actually a, a really cool cruise. Or you yeah. just, yeah, well, that's cool. Um, so today we have well, we have themes for all of these shows, and today's theme is Alpena, Michigan. Okay, so. We have a wine here from a winery in Alpena, Michigan, uh, Thunder Bay Winery, and this is Rockport Red, and Kathy and I have been enjoying this wine. Um, it's a nice, smooth, uh, smooth red wine. It's a blend. Um, I talked to the nice folks there at Thunder Bay Winery uh, in, in Alpena. And they have a vineyard, so they grow a lot of their own grapes. Um, they have a vineyard in Asinique, which is um, just south of Alpina. And um, this particular wine is a mix of, uh, it's a blend of like five different grape varieties that they grow there um, in Michigan. So that's kind of cool. They have their own vineyard, grow their own grapes, and they make yeah. this wine. And um, they were talking about how, well, Patrick there actually was talking about how um, he wanted to give me a red because Michigan wines are, Michigan is most known for their white wine and we have a lot of really good white wines, but they are coming up with red wines. You know, they're, they're coming up in the world of wine, the, you know, they're perfecting the process of wine making with reds and there's some really good red wines in Michigan, you know, like this one. So, um, 
it's, it's nice. It's a good tasting red wine, and I recommend going up there to Alpina to Thunder Bay Winery and checking it out. Um, they have a tasting room, and um, it's a beautiful place. I've been to Alpina many times, and uh, it's it's nice. And you've been to Alpina, and you'll tell us a little more about that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So more about Alpina with the theme of Alpina. So um, my daughter actually went up there recently because she uh, she works with NOAA, the um, yeah. National Oceanic. So she works with the Great Lakes Division, and they have um, they have a station up there where they they take a research vessel out, and she got to go out in the research oh, vessel. Cool. So, um, anyways, and they also have NOAA has a marine sanctuary up there too in Alpena. And uh, so this particular marine sanctuary has a whole bunch of shipwrecks. And, um, you know, of course, shipwrecks are kind of a kind of a sad thing, you know? Yeah. We'd like to think that maybe some of those people got saved. I'd like to think, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, there's a whole bunch. I think that there's nearly 100 shipwrecks um, in that area. So it's a wow. big diving area. So people go up there to dive. Um, so Alpena is kind of popular for that. And it's the biggest city in northern, in that part of northern Michigan. It's like, um, well, let's see, my hand might be backwards on, okay, so. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Okay, so Alpena is here. Yeah, so it's not on the Traverse City side. It's on the other side toward the top. Lake Huron. Yeah, it's on Lake Huron. Getting kind of closer to the Straits of Mackinac, but it's, um. So that would be the northeast, northeast lower peninsula of Michigan is where this lovely wine is from, Rockport Red from Thunder Bay Winery. And you're you're enjoying it, right, Kathy? Very nice wine, yeah. I'm yep, gonna yep. Um, so, enjoy it. so how do we tie in Kathy to Alpena? Well, why don't you tell us the name of your song? Okay. Play, our, play the song for us. All right. Um, I've probably been writing songs for about 20 years, maybe a little bit longer than that. And one of the first songs that I wrote is called Alpina Colada. And it was just, the title just came to me at one point. I was thinking of a very good friend, Carolyn Swakowski, who um, is from Alpina and lives there now. Um, and I was envisioning her, because at the time she was single, she, had, she was divorced. And so I wrote what I call my Michigan winter song. Should I play it now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. So this is my song, Alpina Colada. In a bar in Alpina on a cold winter's night, I was sitting there nursing a brood. I was lonely and sad cause I felt I'd been had by a man who lived up by the Sioux. When the bartender winked as he gave me a drink, said here's something I think you should try. I took a big sip and with foam on my lip, I raised up my glass and I cried, Ow, pina colada. You're a drink that I'm fond of. You're a trip to the islands on a cold winter's day up in Mish, coconut and pineapple. You're much better than Snapple. You can leave out the rum so you won't be a bum. And they can't say you drink like a fish. Oh, I had a few more and my spirits they soared. And the jukebox was playing a song. Something smoky and slow with the rhythm that flowed To my hips that vibrated like gongs I got up on the table, didn't think I was able The music just gave me a push Someone said, ooh la la, is that the hula or ska? I just shimmied and wiggled my tush Alpina Colada You're a drink that I'm fond of Coconut and pineapple You're much better than Snapple You can leave off the rum So you won't be a bum And they can't say you drink like a fish 
like a hammer when I woke to go home the next day. Made a stop at the market, it wasn't quite dark yet, got mixes and fruit from the bin. Though I'm just off a bender, I threw ice in the blender, gonna visit the islands again. El Pina Colada. show there's no audience to clap but that's where everybody claps <laughs> so i'm sure you guys are clapping amongst yourselves do you want me to talk about the video at this point yes yes okay. so tell us about this video so this is our um our positive story section um wine songs and good vibes and i'm sure you guys are following along there we talked about the wine got the song now we're going to hear about the positive story well, which is about Kathy's video for this song, and I'm going to link it. I'm going to put a link to that in the description, so you can find the link to the video she's going to talk about. Yeah, then you'll get to see me dance on a table. <laughs> <laughs> dance on a table. So um, my main connection to Alpina is my good friend Carolyn Swakowski, um, and uh, her her first mother-in-law, uh, Clarice. Uh, just a second. I have to make sure I get that last name right. Clarice Zenkowitz. Oh, it's it's a relative. It's, oh, yeah, it was an okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, she actually uh, turned a hundred this past June, and we made a video in uh, the Maplewood Tavern, which is a bar that Clarice owns. It's in Alpena, Michigan, and um, she used to work as a waitress at the uh, Maplewood Tavern, and then she ended up marrying the owner. And this is probably like in the forties or something, right? Or yeah, long, long. I mean, she was in her teens. She was like yeah. seventeen or eighteen when she got married. Wow. So it was. Uh, it was a while ago. So it was a while. Ago. Well, when she was working there, and then shortly after that, she got married. So she was probably you know early twenties at the oldest. Yeah. You know that she married, and then um, when he passed away, uh, she still tended bar there, and um, actually was still tending on a part-time basis when we made the video which was um, three years ago because she was 97 when we made the video and so Carolyn arranged for uh, us to meet at the, the tavern uh, on a, it was on a Sunday afternoon it was quiet there were there wasn't anyone I think it was she closed it on Sundays oh, okay um, well, you know what? If you're 97, I, I think you deserve that break. Yeah, it might have been open yeah. in the evening, but anyways, that <laughs> okay. afternoon it was available for us to uh, to make the video. Um, and Clarice is in the video, which is the main reason why um, uh, you should go to YouTube and type in Alpina Colada, or you're going to set up a, a link. So, um, anyways, uh, Clarice is is wonderful in the video. You would never guess she was 97 years old. She's mixing the drinks. I'm with two of my friends. One of them is Carolyn, my friend that lives in um, uh, Alpena. She's on my right. She has blonde hair. And my other one of my other best friends, Eileen, is on my left uh, left side. And she's from um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. But uh, anyways, we had a lot of fun making the video, and Clarice uh, was a big part of it. Um, the other interesting thing about the Maplewood Tavern and Clarice is that um, she has a, she's in the Guinness Book of of records as having been a bartender at the same tavern for longer than anyone else in the whole country. Wow. And she has a letter from President Obama congratulating her for that as well. That's amazing. Yeah. So, um, and there's been articles, um, if you go back into the archives of the Alpena News, whatever, you know, newspaper that might be, I'm sure there's many articles about her. She's just an incredibly lovely woman. That was the... Uh, well, actually, the only time that, that I had met her um, 
and uh, she was Carolyn's first mother-in-law. And actually, if you watch the video, the supposed policeman that helps me out of the bar is Carolyn's ex-husband. Oh, <laughs> that's good. They're on so, good terms. Yeah. So they're still so they're still on good terms. Yeah. So um, yeah, and Clarice had a big birthday party just last month. She turned 100. And That's so great. That's so of, awesome. She made it to 100. All of her grandkids. And uh, I, it was a big, a big, you know, to do. So And they probably went to the bar, right? To the Maplewood Tavern? Oh, yeah. There was music coming out of uh, the tavern, yeah. I think um, she's, she's not working there anymore. She's retired. But uh, I think they have, uh, and it's seasonal, too. She, she goes somewhere warm in the winter. Okay, so, you know, that's a good idea. Yeah. Because it's, it's pretty cold in Alpena. They get some snow up there. For sure. Yeah. Well, that's a really cool story. Well, yeah, thanks for telling us. You're welcome. It's fun to, fun to share. Well, again, this is um, Kathy Wheland, songwriter from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And uh, tell us about your upcoming shows. Okay. I have two gigs coming up. Um, one of the uh, groups that I belong to is Songwriters Anonymous, and we're going to have a women's concert There'll be 10 of us that are members of uh, Song and On doing a concert for Barefoot Productions. Um, it's going to be, oh good, goodness, I should have brought the, the information with me. It's on August the 10th at 8 o'clock. Um, it's at, uh, oh, oh, shoot, it's in Livonia. Um, Is it the Trinity House? Is that where it's? It's not at Trinity oh, House. Okay. That's where, where um, the we, group meets that's where we meet. It's actually on Five Mile Road. Finkel, I think it is. There's a Civic Center Plaza, and there's a small theater in that plaza. Oh, oh, okay, like and near near Farmington Road. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I know. And that's and that's where where it's going to take place. So that's going to be the women of your song. The women group. of song and on. Okay. And um, if you're interested in going, it would be lovely to to fill the place. Um, you can go t uh, online to uh, Barefoot Productions, and they have, um, this is, I think, I don't know if this is the first music thing, but it's the first thing that we've done with them, um, and they do plays as well, so they'll, they'll have all their shows listed, and you can get tickets online. I think it's $15 for the concert, so okay. Annie Capps, uh, Sharon C., um, Lauren Crane, um, myself, Sigurd Christensen, um, there's, I'm I'm not going to remember everyone else's name, but um, probably uh, Annie Capps is, is a local Ann Arbor songwriter that's, that's pretty well known. Um, okay, okay, so a lot of um, folk folk and Americana people from the Ann Arbor and Southeast Michigan area. Right. Not, not just Ann Arbor, yeah, Southeast Michigan, Detroit area. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's the first time this group has done an all-women's concert. So. Yeah, that's really cool. So that's Yeah, cool. great idea. And then there's one other uh, gig that I have, and it's on the Sunday of Labor Day weekend, which I believe is September 1st. It's Sunday afternoon. Um, they close down Main Street and parts of Washington. In Ann Arbor. In Ann Arbor. <laughs> A lot of Main Streets out there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from 2 until 6, I believe it is. And then they have dancing. Um, they give lessons. There's swing dancing. Um, there's contra dancing. And then they have a little folk music stage. And I actually will go on at about 3 o'clock with my friend um, Sarah Melton Keller. And um, so we'll be performing at that. It's free if you're not heading up north over Labor Day weekend. Um, it's generally gorgeous weather, and um, it's just a real fun festival. And with the streets closed down, all the restaurants are open. You can sit down and listen to music. If you feel like getting up and dancing, you can get up and dance. Lots of kids' activities. Um, Okay, so that's dancing in the streets. Um, it's a is it a one day festival? Yes. So yes. A one day festival in Ann, in Ann Arbor downtown Ann Arbor on Labor Day weekend. Sunday, and it goes from two until six. I believe. Two to six, yeah. and Kathy is it three? I'm at and, three. Uh, <laughs> yep, Kathy and Sarah on Main Street. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Anything else you'd you'd like to share? Oh no, with, with with me and the people. Thanks for asking me. This is really <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> this is yeah, fun. it's kind of a different situation. It's different than a gig, you know, because we're like alone in this room, and it's kind of, it's it's kind of uh, unusual for for performers to be in this situation and doing their thing. And you know, we're used to people clapping, and then we stop the song, and nobody <laughs> claps. But thank you for coming. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for <laughs> you having know, well, me. Well, yeah. So we will put this on. This will be on Facebook, and then I also upload them to YouTube. Um, so uh, you can always search for wine, songs, and good vibes. And this one is episode six with the theme of Alpena, Michigan. And uh, 
Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope to see you again. Please follow me on Facebook to get notifications of new shows. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please click subscribe. And if you click the little bell, then you get notifications when I post new videos. And um, again, you can check the links for Kathy's video and uh, more information about Kathy and her Facebook page and everything. We'll also link to your website. KathyWheeland.com. Yeah, yeah, Kathy Wheeland. Um, so, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>